What's up, Super Players? We're out here in Del Lama Mall, right? With yep. Superboy right here. Shout out. Hey, What's up, you guys? <laughs> so, we're going to be participating in the tournament. And uh, today, there's a big prize, huh? What's the prize? Top 8 gets uh, Halloween exclusive mats. Halloween exclusive mats, which look pretty darn sick. I know Halloween passed already, but <laughs> we're still in it for the W's. Exactly. What are you going to be playing? I'm going to play Shenron Ramp. All right, Shenron <laughs> Ramp, and I'm playing Golden Frieza. We're bringing it back. So I'm about to go and look, I got my Zenka boosts so I can do good in the, in, the, in the tournament and we're gonna go into it. So here we are. Inside this box, I got the deck I'm gonna be playing at this tournament. Look at this, ooh. There's some pretty good people at this tournament. We got Superboy, Alpha Saiyan, Brian from the Nationals, Mike Cano, and uh, these guys are playing some pretty good decks. I don't know if my Ultimate Frieza from set one could do it, but we'll try. I'm out here at the Lamo, and I ended up getting my first loss on stream, which sucked. As you guys saw, I lost against Shenron, Ramp, no joke, one of the hardest matchups in Dragon Ball Super Card Game. I'm so glad that it's gonna get you rattled. And my other match, I actually got it, and it was against another Shenron variant, but not the ramp version. I think it was Shenron Veggies, and I managed to actually win, which was hella sick. And then I also played Demigra. Demigra, you guys saw, if you guys haven't seen it, I'm gonna have it linked in the description. It's pretty much me versus the national champion and all i gotta say is just watch the live stream so you guys can see how that went down but man you guys gotta check out this view it looks sick california the only place in the united states or well, there's other places too but one of the only spots where it's literally about to be november or it is november <laughs> and it's still sunny and it's late. Other places, it's cold. But yeah, overall, my matchup's pretty good. My Frieza deck is coming in strong. One more round, and if I manage to make it to the top, I'll definitely give away the mat that I'm gonna win. All right, so let's go into another round. A few moments later. Look at that, top eight, you see that? Top eight, got this super freaking looking cool mat. I know it's not Halloween anymore. But I got this mat, and I played a bunch of good decks. I even played the national champion of Dragon Ball Super Card Game on stream, and I actually lost. I'll have the video in the description, so you guys could go check it out. The live stream where I play him, he was playing the Migra, and I was playing this Frieza deck, so you guys can see its gameplay. So, I actually got this mat and made it in top 8. There was a lot of good players here, a lot of people that actually were, you know, we got the national champion here, so... I was playing against some pretty good players. I didn't win first place, but I did make it top eight. So, this guy is not bad. So the way I build this leader is pretty much, if you guys don't know what Frieza, he's set one, throwing it back old school. What he does is pretty much when you pop one of your Frieza's army members, you get to restand an energy and draw one card, which is super good because you just have combo plays for days. And then when your life is at four or less, you draw two cards and awaken to the golden Frieza. Look at that. Like sick set one status baby then every time he attacks you draw one card and same ability you pop a freezes army on the field restand two this time and draw one card combos for days people so that's the leader so what i ran with this leader death ball obviously for one yellow energy if your leader is frieza which it is your leader gains 15k power and you get to blow up a battle card on the field that's in rest mode which is super useful so ran two of those then i added another freezes army we got chilai pretty much when she comes out onto the field draw a card and then activate main for two energies search your deck and play a freezes army member that happens to be green and the one i want to play or you want to play is this frieza emperor frieza himself inferno emperor frieza when he comes out onto the field you could choose to take one life, and if you do, um, it's just gonna help yourself awaken. And then you get to pop them with your leader, pop them, reset an energy, draw one card. Very, very useful 
it's a necessary you run 4 of them. And then after that, in order to search them out, I run 4 Freezes Call because the worst thing that can happen with this deck is, stalled, is being stalled out and not being able to awaken. So Freezes Call is guarantee I find the awakening cards. So this card searches my deck and plays me a 2 cost or less Freezes Army. And you can play any of the Freezes Army in this deck that's 2 cost or less. Another card that I like to search out happens to be Frieza right here from the anniversary box because if you pop them you get to take another life allowing you to self awaken and reset an energy and then when he comes like when he's dead you're able to play a Frieza from your hand it happens to be two costs or less so the combo is after he dies you get to play this guy if you have him in your hand and then you get to take another life you can self awaken super fast and then I only run one of these uh, Frieza's binding his time, you know, when he's in hell. The reason I run them is in, in case they turn one or turn two, bring out a Burgos or Raditz, you know, that those cards that do not let me switch my energies back to active mode, that'll completely destroy this deck and I'll lose automatically. So this card lets me put that card in rest mode and then kill it so then I can restand my energy. And I could, I could also pop it. Then. We got Chilai, the beautiful. So this card's also searchable with Frieza's Call, and it's a Frieza's Army, and when a battle card is KO'd, you're able to force your opponent to drop one card from their hand. Very useful, combine this with uh, Death Ball, you pop something, and then they're, they're forced to discard. Very, very good. I actually beat a uh, Kid Goku deck and uh, with this deck right here. I'm running only one surprise attack, Frieza. If you pop something, he comes out onto the field for free. He's a critical, and you can pop him, restand an er energy. Just one. Then, the point of the deck. This is Frieza's army, the new Frieza's army. So we got this card from the new uh, Magnificent Collection box. What this card does, it lets you search your deck and play a four-cost Broly from your deck onto the field. This is key. It negates his auto for the turn, but it still has his keyword skill. So what, what Broly are you going to be searching for? It's also a dual color energy, considered green and yellow. So this is going to search your deck for the, the play, guys. This is the play. So this is the four cost Broly you can search. He's a critical. So this deck is very hand control aggro type of deck. When he attacks, he's a critical base and then you want to leave him on the field for one turn and then pop him because he's a Freeze's army during your next turn. Drop two cards from your hand, activate his auto, and then you get to play a Broly's BR from your hand that happens to be 7 cost and this is the Broly you play. You can bring him out turn 3. Turn 3 this beast comes out, he's a critical 30k, activate battle, burst 3, drop 3 cards from the top of your deck and then your opponent's forced to discard one card from their hand. And you can do this during either player's turn because it's activate during battle. Anytime you're in the battle, only once per turn though. And uh, this is just continuous uh, crits to your opponent and continuous discards. Awesome. And if he dies, you can also pop him with Frieza's army. I mean, with your Frieza's leader ability, pop him, restand energy, and then you can bring out the secret rare Broly. So this guy, when he comes out onto the field. He's a double strike, dual attack, and if you happen to have one life, your opponent has to discard their entire hand. And when he comes out onto the field, you have to drop your hand as well. It's still cool. Then we got Cold Bloodless. If your leader is Freeze's army, you negate whatever they bring out onto the field. Very, very good. Only could run one because it got limited. Then, another Freeze's army. This is actually a Freeze's army. More Broly support. So if you happen to have green and yellow in the combo area, a rival for one red, I mean one green and one yellow, comes out onto the field, and then you get to choose one. One is put one of your opponent's cards, any card, even including their energy to rest mode and draw one card, or pop one of your opponent's battle cards uh, with equal to or greater energy. And uh, this is gonna be very, very useful to, you know, consistent pressure, and then pop it, restand an energy, draw a card. And then since you're going to be popping your Freeze's army, this card is so good. Four cards in the drop, over round four, comes out onto the field, you draw two, and then you drop one, attack, and then combo, and do some magical plays. Awesome. Love this card. One of my favorite over round cards. Then Flying Nimbus, just two. The only counter I run in this deck, and it's two is good enough. 
You negate, drop a yellow, then your opponent cannot make multiple attacks with their battle cards. Very useful. Then, one of the finishers, double strike. We have a lot of criticals in here. Our Brolies are all crits, so why not add a double strike crit? One of my favorite ways of dealing damage. Double strike, double strike, double strike crit. Then our super combos. 10k boost, draw, 4 lives or less. And last but not least, only one of these because I only own one. Pretty much combo. And then for two energies, he comes out onto the field, rest one, draw one. And that is the deck that got me this amazing looking mech. So that's going to be the end of the video, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to link the gameplay of this in the description where I play against multiple people. I lose in, in, the, in the scenes, but I actually made it. I beat all the other rounds. And there you have it, guys. Like we always say, y'all stay super.